guys, what is up? Welcome to the vlog. Today is a super exciting day because as you guys know, I am speaking to my college today. Have I done a lot of preparation for it? No, but the professor was basically like, here's a few things I want you to hit and it can just be like be an open conversation. They can ask questions along the way and that's really just how I wanna get it started out. I just want this to be an open conversation, like raise your hand because it's like a Zoom thing so you can click like the raise hand button. So I've got that today and then my mother and sister are coming into town. So my mom is actually spending almost a whole week with me. She's here Thursday to Wednesday and then my sister is only here today so thursday to saturday so she's not here as long but we're just doing like a little girls weekend we haven't spent time just the three of us in such a long time my house is so unbelievably clean right now i don't think my house has ever been this clean like since i moved into it can we just take a moment for my skin do you see do you guys see Periodontal dermatitis too. There's still like a little bit of discoloration, but eventually the redness will go away. And honestly, from far away, like this is with nothing on my face right now. I'm so happy. Less than a week ago, I had that freaking flare up. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows really quick, put on some mascara, and then I wanna run to Starbucks. Big, big, big thing. Starbucks, my name is Heather. I'm gonna get ready now. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. My original plan this morning, before I've got my uh, presentation call thing, was to edit the next vlog. But honestly, I feel like I just have so much else to do that I do not have time to edit the vlog. And I don't know if I'm gonna have time to edit while my mom is in town or what the deal is there. So we'll see if I'll have to miss an upload. I do have like some support emails I gotta get back to. I need to prep for this presentation and then I need to prep for a call that I have tomorrow, which I have done zero prep for, absolutely none. And I feel pretty bad about it because I need to go into that prepared. So I think that's how I'm going to spend my time right now. Cause I've got like less than an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Gears to procrastinating, we love to see it. No, I also gotta get back to my management team. Microphone. I have got my AirPods. Okay, so sad news. I think I need to buy new AirPods, which honestly, those are several years old. These aren't, are these the first generation AirPods? I honestly do not know, but they are not new. I think that they're dying. The last time I went to a coffee shop to get some work done, I had to use one AirPod at a time because the batteries in them died within like 20 to 30 minutes. But then I used them the other day at the gym and they lasted for a whole hour. So I don't really know what's going on there. We'll see how they last up. If they don't last, I think I'm just gonna buy myself a new pair because I do honestly use them a lot when it comes to working out at the gym. Specifically, I'm trying to get back into it, going back to like the weight room and stuff. And also when I am doing lives or even just meetings, I will have my AirPods in. And you guys don't even notice because usually my hair's down so you don't see it. But whenever I'm doing like a podcast interview or a live with another channel, Channel or something I always have those in and then also when I work at a coffee shop or when I work when other people are around I do use them a good bit so 
kind of not surprised that they're dying, you know, like as things just get old and you use them a lot, they do die. I've got my microphone right here. This is actually my first time that I am using this arm. If you guys remember the last one I broke because I stepped on it, yeah, this is a new one. There's actually no external springs, which is really nice because the last one I had had external springs. And yeah, we'll see if I like it. I also have my light set up right here. I got to turn it on, but I didn't want it to be on early and me just like staring into a bright light. I still have my matcha. I actually got to fill up my water bottle. I said this was matcha. This is chai. I have not honestly drank any water today, which is not good. I'm feeling a little bit nervous as it's getting closer. I'm like, ah. I just kind of want this to be an open conversation. So I'm going to like talk at you guys for a little, but if there's anything like just raise your hand and then I can have you speak. I'd rather you actually like speak to me than typing in the chat. My name is Catherine Manning. I did go to like home in college. I was a swimmer when I was there. I was also. fear that I'm still on that I'm like people are going to see me I feel like I'm like blushing right now but I'm just so incredibly hot and I gotta check my phone because my mom should be in the air I don't think she arrives for like another hour but last time I checked she was like delayed 10 minutes or something let's see arrives in an hour 16 minutes okay perfect that went better than I could have ever imagined I would do that 100 times over that was the greatest freaking experience and for one, okay, Amanda, girl, I don't even know if you watch my vlogs, but like there was uh, one girl in the class that said she watches my YouTube videos and she found me back in like 2019 and she has her own YouTube channel and like just so cool to actually meet you guys. And I am dreaming of the freaking day when I can do a meet and greet or something. It's so different talking to people online and like sending DMs and like just like the little like text back and forth, you know, it's so different actually seeing people in real life and like meeting your subscribers. It's a totally different experience. And I've met one person actually like right before the pandemic hit, okay? I went to the RISE conference in Toronto and I had someone that was following me on Instagram and I said that I was going to the RISE conference in Toronto and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm buying a ticket because for one, I wanna go, but also I wanna see you and like good excuse to do it. So we ended up like messaging on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely amazing. Like let's plan a time to meet. And we just like had a quick little meeting and it makes it more real. It just like, it doesn't feel real that there's other people on the other side of the screen consuming my content, which may seem totally ridiculous, but it's like, I talk about my content and what I share in my videos to like my dad, like he watches every single one of my vlogs. So it's like, I talk to him about it. I talk to my sister about it because she watches all my stuff. And sometimes I'll talk directly to them in my videos because it's like, I know this person's watching, but otherwise sometimes it's hard to imagine the people that are actually consuming my content. And I've gotten messages on Instagram before. I've seen two of them. I don't know how many I've actually received. A few will being like, I saw you here but I didn't say hi. And I was like, why are you creeping, man? Like, just come and say hi to me. Like, I would love to freaking meet you guys. <sighs> it would just be so incredibly cool. So yeah, one day we'll like do a meet and greet or if I go to like conferences and stuff, like I just like want to meet you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go to VidCon or something. I mean, I would love to go to VidCon, but like VidCon, Vid Summit, Grow With Video Live, you know, like all those, I just like want to meet you guys. And that was such a cool freaking experience. I literally did not need to prep anything. Like all I did was talk a little bit about my career, how I got to where I am. And then the professor really just like asked me a bunch of questions and a ton of the students asked questions too, which is like so great. Usually it's like only one person that's willing to talk. It was like, no, several people were willing to talk and it was just, it was good. It was good. Wow. I feel great right now. I am definitely hot though. I am sweating. I also need to drink more water because I'm not drinking enough water today. Oh, you guys want to see Fancy Girl though? Look at this cute little muffin. At one point you got up and you were like, I'm going to play with my toys. And I was like, this could be bad. This could be very bad, but it wasn't bad, huh? You didn't squeak any toys? No, because you's a good girl. Yeah. I love you so much. Are you excited to see grandma? and Aunt Patricia. 
There's no Atticus, though. I know that's super heartbreaking. And no Uncle Chris. Yep, just put your head down. She's like, not even worth it. Patricia, she's just... If you don't bring them, she's not interested. <laughs> Fancy has a very special bond with my brother-in-law. I don't know what it is, but she freaking adores him, man. And also adores Atticus. So that's my fur nephew, my sister's dog. They are buds. They're a year apart in age and they are just like the best of buds. They play every now and then, but otherwise they just like know each other. They're just like, we're chill. We coexist. We sleep beside each other. The amount of times they like just like sleep side by side with their butts touching. It's the cutest freaking thing ever. But I want to share with you guys. I got to tear all this down before I got to go pick up my mom. Spare bedroom, all prepped, ready to go here. Not much to honestly prep. I just laid out a towel for my mom. But then this room, look at these. They look so good, I'm so excited. So I actually put, these are all of my like DVDs. I'm honestly shocked that I don't have more than this, but at the same time, I don't even have a DVD player or anything that can play these. So I've got those down there. And then I put this little bit of styling up here just to fill it in. I've got this little bit of styling here and that's just like, I needed something to put there. So I put that there. I moved this side table up here for my sister so that she has a spot to put her phone, whatever else. I also got a towel for her. And then this is the futon laid out, okay? So this is where my sister's gonna be sleeping tonight. I've got this crazy mattress topper. It's just like the most comfortable foam. Like I honestly think this is more comfortable than my spare bedroom bed, which is totally ridiculous, but Fancy's been sneaking up here and laying on this. I am almost all ready for guests. I'm telling you, my house has never been this clean. I ended up cleaning things that I've never cleaned before. So I'm really hoping that they appreciate it. I figured if I do the work now, then I don't have to do as much work before Thanksgiving. And I'll just like vacuum and clean the bathrooms and dust and like do the basic cleaning that I do. But I was like, I'll do one huge deep clean for my mom coming. So the only thing that I have left to do is I got to clean up my mess in my office and I got to wash my dishes in in the kitchen because I got like some pots and pans that I did not wash and I really need to like clear up. You see this right here? I gotta like get that gone. I gotta fill in these holes right here. There was a whiteboard here before. So I gotta do that. And I gotta like also like patch up the like sides that I talked to you guys about before. Hi sweet girl. Do you wanna show them how much you love this bait? Yeah. Are you gonna sleep with Aunt Trisha tonight? I'm gonna be very upset if you abandon me. You are so cute. Look at that wagging tail. He's so cute. I really think my sister's gonna be comfortable on this. Or at least I hope she is. I think it's pretty comfortable, but it's just me. I will share with you guys if and when it happens, but I got reached out to on Instagram for something so exciting. And I, I'm totally ridiculous. I'm just a complete and utter fangirl. Like that's all it is. So I'm a total fangirl. Uh, but I got it reached out to for something and I am going to just collapse. I'm not going to be able to handle it if it actually happens. My mom has landed. She hasn't texted me yet, but I can see on the board that she's landed. But I have just been responding to some DMs and I am having so much fun kicking it with you guys right now, honestly. In the Q&A yesterday, someone asked like how far I was into Dexter because I mentioned on my main channel that I'm watching Dexter and the amount of you guys that like love Dexter and have sent me things about Dexter and then someone said, like I hope this isn't a spoiler but don't get too attached to the characters and now I'm like, who dies? We're leading up to have one person die right now and I just, don't know. I don't know. But don't give me any spoilers, okay? Because I am, for one, 15 years behind on Dexter. But I am only on season two right now. I'm nearing the end of season two. I think I only have two more episodes left. But I've been watching it with a friend and it's honestly been so much fun because we've been watching it at the same time together and just like messaging each other. Just like our reactions to things like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And it's so much freaking fun. I've never really done that before. So it's a blast. But... I freaking love sending you guys, like I love chatting with you guys in the DMs. It's so much fun. I do get so many freaking DMs though. And I just mentioned this on my Instagram stories that when I go to my all requests section, like my new request and messages, it's for some reason automatically sorting it by top requests, which means like 
number of followers and like other things. And it's like, I don't want it sorted by top requests. It's nice to have that feature because then you can see like if brands are reaching out to you or something, like it is nice for that purpose. But otherwise it's like, I just want to see the most recent requests and then get back to like the top, like 10, 15 or so. But for some reason it's sorting it the other way. And then I have to like go and it's like not that big of a deal to resort, but it's like the other day I did it. And it said like my most recent request was five days ago. And I was like, that's weird. It's just because I was sorting by top requests. So I'm trying to get back to a bunch of you now while I've got some time to freaking spare. I'm so confused why my mom hasn't texted me saying that she landed, even though I know she's landed. Now I have someone beside me, so I feel like they're going to be like, why the heck is this girl talking to a camera? <laughs> you got it? <laughs>